Madagascar is one of the poorest countries on the planet. 80% of the population earns its living from agriculture, and many families live hand to mouth. Since 2012, the country has been facing a plague of the migratory locust. Without adequate preventative control, locust populations, whose natural habitat is the southwest of the island, have multiplied out of all proportion, invading almost two-thirds of the country. Large locust swarms, as well as hopper bands, can wipe out food crops and livestock grazing lands. A medium-sized swarm can devour up to 100,000 tons of green vegetation in a single day, seriously affecting the country's agricultural production. The magnitude of this locust plague threatens the food security of more than 13 million people. In 2013, Florentine lost all her crops when a swarm of locusts destroyed her cornfield. She has struggled to feed her 11 children ever since and has to find odd jobs to do or gather fruit to feed them. At the moment, life is really miserable because of the locusts. Sometimes we manage to eat, but there are times when we go to bed on an empty stomach. My children had to stop going to school because we couldn't afford to pay their fees. In September 2013, the Ministry for Agriculture and FAO launched a three-year program in response to the locust plague. The program aims to bring back the locust situation to a recession and safeguard the food security of the vulnerable rural populations. Locust control is a war, a war against flying insects. To go to war, one needs soldiers, arms and weapons. For locust control, the soldiers are the technicians, the arms are the appropriate sprayers, and the pesticides and biopesticides, those are the weapons. To this end, with the government's support, FAO deployed three mobile aerial bases which move with the locust population dynamics. Each mobile base is equipped with the essentials. 4x4 vehicles, trucks, spraying equipment and at least one aircraft. Either a helicopter or a fixed wing aircraft. As well as pesticides and fuel. The bases are operated by qualified local staff, supervised by international experts, all with long-standing experience in locust control. Locust control is a very difficult and complex operation. It is especially challenging in Madagascar because of the landscape, with mountainous difficult to access areas, in particular by ground teams. A second factor which complicates things is the presence of armed groups, especially in the south, which pose a serious security threat to our teams. One of the biggest challenges in locust control operations is identifying the infested zones. Madagascar's uneven landscape means this part of the process is largely carried out by helicopter. This stage of the campaign is essential because it allows teams to understand the locust situation and map the areas to be treated. We're very mindful of the range of habitats that we're dealing with. Desert areas, wetlands, uh, all those cropping areas. So we have to be very careful where we use chemical pesticides and where we use the biological pesticides. So it's a balancing act to figure out what is needed and where and then apply those chemicals in the best way possible so that we do as little harm to the environment as possible. Over the course of the three-year program, 
around 2 million hectares of infested areas need to be treated to return to a recession of the locust populations. To achieve this, different pesticides are sprayed. Conventional chemical pesticides, insect growth regulators and biopesticides. More than 99% of control operations are carried out by air. Conventional chemical pesticides are used when fast action to kill the locusts is required. When the locusts are in the hopper stage, the program chooses insect growth regulators, which are relatively harmless to the environment and to public health. Our goal is to beat the locust plague, which doesn't mean we are eradicating the species. In fact, it's the opposite of that, because this species is important to the ecosystem. The program is designed to minimize the impact of locust control operations on Madagascar's ecosystem, one of the richest in the world. For example, when the infested areas are near national parks or in areas with sensitive ecosystems, control operations are carried out with biopesticides only. Concern for the environment is paired with constant attention to human health. Regular blood tests are carried out to ensure the safety of people exposed to pesticides. Awareness campaigns broadcast on local radio stations, helping keep people in rural areas informed so they can keep away from spraying operations. FAO's guidance and training to local staff contributes to strengthen national locust control capacity while building related knowledge and skills. One of the main objectives of these wide-scale control operations is to set up a permanent preventive control strategy led and managed by a team of national technicians and experts. Locust plagues are avoidable. An effective locust preventative strategy would result in the treatment of a maximum of 50,000 hectares per year and thereby avoid the ecological, human and financial impacts of a locust crisis. Help is at hand for families like Florentines whose livelihoods have been severely affected by the crisis. The Regional Nutrition Office, in collaboration with FAO, is providing agricultural inputs such as seeds and fodder for their cattle. It's hoped this aid will help Florentine to begin cultivating her land again and provide for her family. The three-year programme must be completed to ensure an effective recession of the locust populations in Madagascar. Late or insufficient funding would be disastrous, as locusts would continue to multiply. The success of these three locust campaigns is essential for the food security of millions of people. <laughs>